Hi, is George there? My pardon? Is George there? George? Yeah. Then who are you looking for? I'm looking for George. Darling, George is dead. George is dead. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Hello? Hello? Hi, is George there? Who? George. I'm sorry, you had a wrong number. You don't have George there? I go to George Washington Elementary, and I wanted to know if I could do an interview with him for my first grade project. Well, uh, George Washington is my husband, and he's passed away. Oh, no. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh. still on the line. Okay, what was it you lost? It was a, uh, it was a black bag. I can't understand you. It was a black bag. I'm sorry, I have something in my throat. It was, it was a black bag. There's no bag that's been turned in or up here at all, sir. Lies! Sir, I mean, there's nothing up here that's been turned in. So where is Harvey Dent? I don't like to speak to him right now. I mean, that's where what is he? Sir, goodbye. And where I'll is he? Just... Goodbye. Where is he? Hello? Can I help you? Where is he? Hello? Where is he? Where is he? Okay, well, I live in Orlando, and um, I just found out today from my mommy and daddy that I'm adopted. Okay. And they said, they said that my um, real mommy, I think her name is like Casey. Okay. And I wanted to go see her. And I needed okay. your help to find her. And her, um... Uh, Casey, what was it? Casey Anthony. Okay. And I wanted to find her house so I can go there because I think that my parents are going to try and kill me. And I feel like the safest place would be is at my real mommy's house. Wow. Are you serious? Yes. Okay. Okay, so today I was in the dressing room and I was trying on undies. Uh-huh. And I totally forgot to, like, take them off to pay for them. So, like, I'm still wearing them, but I left my lucky underwear in the dressing room. Okay, so they have, like, purple lace, like, around the whole, like, perimeter. Mm-hmm. And then on it, it's, like, little llamas, like, drinking out of the lake. Okay, let me see where she's gone, because she's got to look. I can see her in the back there. Okay, and in between, and I have a, each, I have another, in between each llama drinking out of the lake and, like, the other llama drinking out of the lake, there's a rainbow. Hi, my name is Brandon. I was wondering if you guys are still available for an issue that I'm having tonight. What kind of issues are you having? Well, I was looking outside before, and on, like, my little railing, there always seems to be, like, this cat that's, like, always sitting on the railing, and it's not mine, and I'm, like, I, I'm, I don't do cats so, um, I didn't want to, like, go near it or touch it or, like, shoo it or anything. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do to it. It's, just, it's been sitting there for over an hour. Um, from the looks of it, though, I couldn't really see a collar around his neck. So I'm just like, go away. Boo. You go away, you cat. Go away. Come on. Go. Nobody likes you. Boo. 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 Boo! It's not. It's not doing anything. I don't have yeah, but one. You don't have one in the house. Though. No, but Stu has one. I could call him. Well, then he's gonna be outside with the cat too. Yeah, that's not good. I don't want him outside with 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 looks like a. Is pamper. he afraid of cats? Is he afraid? I don't know. He's Jewish, so. I, I don't think it's a religious thing. Um, if it's facing me, should I go for the face? Anywhere in the head is fine. Okie dokies. Okay, well, I'm, I'm putting the phone, like, right right on my now, table. Now, now, here's something that I, you need to understand, okay? Mm -hmm. You're higher on the food chain than he is. Right. Right. Okay? If you wanted to, he could be your cat. You'd be the master. Right? Okay. I don't, don't want that, though. I don't, don't want that, though. I don't want that, though. Well, that's fine. Okay. But he doesn't know that. So you're, you're telling me to act bigger than him. 
You're bigger than him. You're higher on the food chain. You have to go with it. Just spray him. Get a headshot on him. Okie dokie. I will try that right now. Hold on. Holy... <laughs> Do you know what kind of dog it is? Um, I, I know it's a black. It's, it's a black little thing. It's probably, you know, it's probably, you know, a couple weeks old. I, I just know it's black. Like I said, I didn't take it to the, uh, to the animal doctor or anything, so I didn't, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really know. But I would, judging by my professional eyes, by looking at them, I would say it's a black. Um, yeah, it, it, it looks like a cubby. Yeah, it looks like a little cubby. That's, that's, that's okay. actually how I say it. Um, Tell me what the dog was again. I I didn't quite. It was. It's a um. It's it's a little. It's a little. A little black bear. Uh, a blue or black what? I'm sorry. No, no, not blue. It's it's a it's a black little cub. Oh, okay. Um. So you know, it's gonna be hard to tell you the price because um, we do by breed of dog, and so. Um, it's I mean, it's a black. It's a black cub. Oh, okay. No, because um, because I was just wondering because I'm I'm saying it because it's it's a cub. You're, you're saying, you're saying dog. Oh, it's a cub. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a baby bear. Oh, I'm sorry. I am completely confused at the moment. I'm so sorry. We don't do anything other than dogs and cats. Um, PetSmart doesn't do any kind of exotic animal in their salon. We only do dogs and cats. I, I would, I mean, it's not, it's not an exotic animal. It's kind of, kind of common. Is this the plumber? Yeah. Hi. Um. Okay. So I have a little bit of a dilemma, and I needed to know like prices and stuff. Um. Me and my brother have the house to ourselves for the weekend, and my parents left like a few hours ago. So we were like, okay, well maybe we can have a party or something. But then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go downstairs and make sure it's all clean. So my dad told me like five million times that I can't turn on the sink in the basement, but like I really wasn't listening, and I kind of forgot. So, like, I went downstairs into the basement and turned the sink on, and now it won't turn off, and my basement's kind of flooded, and my parents just texted me and said that the meeting that they had to go to was canceled, so they're coming back home, and I need it to be cleaned in, like, two hours. I understand that there's some flooding in the basement? Some? Some's an understatement. There's, like, this is, like, if, uh, Octomom's water broke in our basement. That's, that's what happened right now. Candy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, gonna go for a little swim. I'm gonna, uh... Try and reach the door, okay? Okay. What I want you to do is count to 30. And if, if I don't come back up, I want you to, s s like, shout something. So if I'm underwater, I can hear you. Okay. All right, so I'm, I'm, go I'm going in, okay? All right. One. Oh. Two. <sighs> Three. Four. Five. Fat kid baby seed. <laughs> 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 baby seed. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, fat kid baby seed. <laughs> Dad, Hello? can you hear me? Yeah, what's going on? Hey, sorry for calling. Are you almost home? I'm pulling in the driveway. Can this wait? No, no. We're, we, we, Candy, you explain what happened. Um, hey, Dad. Um, so you remember the sink you told me not to turn on? What's, what? Yes. I turned it on. Jesus Christ. 
I'm coming in that house right now. You stay put. Dad, I want you to know I, I swam for it. You know, no, Candy, screw this. I'm not going to get in trouble by Dad. Screw this. I'm going underwater. Don't tell him where I am. I'm going to kick your ass. <gasps> What's going on in here? Dad! What's going on in here? I don't- Jim just swam in it! What the hell is going on down here? It's a pool! Jim, get- Get- <laughs> Jim, get out of there! We accept yes. cash, check, most major credit cards, as well as any financing for major plumbing work. And oh, Dad, 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 Dad I didn't tell you. Dad, did you hear the Kardashians got renewed for a fourth season? They did? Yeah. Candy That's... was telling me, Candy, did you hear? They did? Um, I'm all over that. Did you hear that what? Kim Kardashian is dating Kanye West? Yeah, I heard that, but I didn't know they got renewed. That yeah. pissed me the hell off because he took... The award from T Swift, and she's my girl. All right, guys, guys, do me a favor. Do me yeah. a favor, both of you. Yeah. Shut the fuck up! I'm on the phone trying to deal with this bullshit. Get the fuck out of my face! I just had a couple questions. What do you uh, do? You guys do anything cool for like birthdays? If I wanted to like send a birthday, uh, kind of like bouquet uh, type of thing. Uh, actually, we do have uh, birthday flowers. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's what I like. Um, well, if you if you could put a uh, you know, like, happy 13th birthday or something. and Or maybe not even that. She knows it's her birthday, right? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. if you could put a uh, hip, hip, hooray. Mm -hmm. She drives me crazy. I, as the next line, I just can't wait to live it up. Because tonight is the night. And then if there's enough uh, room, you can... I can wait to... What, sir? I to, just can wait to... To live it up. Like, to, to sex. 13 rows? Yeah, she's 13. Is there an age limit to what you could deliver? There's an age limit to when uh, I can deliver. <laughs> but with you guys, is there an age limit? Mm -hmm. Could we add, just think about this, could we add something that's $10, so it's $69? <laughs> uh, pardon, sir? Could we add 10 more dollars to the order, so it's... So it's sixty nine dollars. Something went horribly wrong. Um, pretty much what happened is, what would we do is we is we play this game where like I uh, it's like a scavenger hunt type of thing with my kids. We're like, ev well, they're in school they're part of the uh, it's called students together rationing interesting plants. So okay. it's, it's you know pe people say like oh that stands for strip so they're part of a strip club but it's called students together rationing interesting plants and um, every year if they do good what I do is uh, you know I go throughout Walmart and I take you know some things from our house and uh, you know like you know like a loaf of bread my left shoelace you know my daughter's teddy bear bacon etc and I hide it throughout Walmart and I give them clues so right now I'm at home they're walking around Walmart trying to find some items. And they just call me up saying they can't find it. And I'm just wondering if you guys maybe moved them or something. Mm, I have no idea. You hit them in Walmart? Yeah. Well, I, I hit a loaf of bread. You guys don't even sell that kind of bread. I, I made it myself, and I just put it on the shelf, and they can't find it. Um, and, you know, it's, her, it's, it's my daughter and 15 other kids. 15 of them in here on the scavenger hunt? Yeah. Okay, what age kids are they? They're they're from like five to eight. Oh, okay, little kids. Yeah, there's there's no adult supervision either. Oh, okay, and they can't find one of the loaves of bread. They they can't find anything. They can't find the left shoelace. They can't find the teddy bear. They can't find the bike tire. I, I left a motorcycle tire. Uh, I brought I brought my lawnmower in and I left it there, and and they can't find any of it. Your lawnmower. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You, 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 your next question might be, why would you do that? And again, it, it was for the kids. I thought it would be a game. They can't find anything. And I, I, I double-checked to make sure they were at the right Walmart. And they, they are, and they can't find anything. I also left a fat kid baby seat in there. I, I left 55 items that you guys don't even sell. Like, like l literally, towards the back of the store, it... It it was asleep when I left it, but our our cow Tapaba just gave birth a couple weeks ago, so it's a baby calf that I left there, and they can't find that at all. Well, items items like that. 
yeah. that don't have a home in here that they're not supposed to be. Right. See, that's that's the point of the scavenger hunt because they find stuff that don't belong. It's like one of these things don't belong. One of these is a calf. So yeah. yeah. We'll see if we find something like that when we're what we call zoning is is straightening the store. When we find stuff like that, we turn it to claims. This is the, I mean. I'm going to have to talk to the store manager because I don't think the they, I don't think you can because you you but, taking a chance of them being stopped for something that that Walmart doesn't carry. Right. I mean, and and he, and one of the main items that I guess concerned the other lady, I I set up and hid a laser guided bow and arrow. And I, I got it for Christmas for my wife, so I set that up. You know, like oh, if you could find it, that's the big prize. And they haven't found it yet, so I don't know where that is. Okay. So what do you want us to do? No, I was just wondering if, like, if you got any items that weren't yours, such as a laser guided bow and arrow. Anything yet? No. Uh. -uh. Okay. We haven't gotten anything that I know of. No. It sounds more fun, and you know, every year we never had a problem. Uh, well, except you know, for Christmas when I got the the bow and arrow, I took an arrow to the knee. But other than that, um, we have motion sensing bow and arrow in the store now, and no one seems to know where it is. It's a it's a, it's a laser guided motion sensored bow and arrow. Yeah, it's new. So. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you on that. Yeah, did, did any of your employees say anything about a bear trap? Because I have one of those set up, too. No, no one has said anything. Yeah, by the uh, by the gardening part. But you have a bear trap by the garden center. Yeah. Then you have a loaded, a sensor motion bow and arrow. Laser guided. Laser, Laser guided, yeah. And a, a gallon of goat semen. I, I had 55 items. Those are just like five of them. I, I, I don't know what to tell you on all this stuff. You either come up here and find it yourself or, or you can try to find it yourself. I don't know if they turn it in or not. I have no idea. Sir, uh, you need, there are no adults up here with these kids. No. Nah, why Why would there be? They're five to eight years old. Yeah, you're saying it like it's a bad thing. Excuse me? You're, you're saying it like it's a bad thing. I just want to know what your point is. Yeah, do kids that young, you need to come up here and get them. Ah, do I have to? Are you serious? Are you serious? I I yeah. have to. Our manager said you need to come up here and get the uh, kids together and get them oh, out of God. here. They're not supposed to be up here loose on the scavenger hunt with no supervision. They're not loose. I t you know how you like how parents have those little things with the kids where they strap it to it with the leash, the kitty leash. I leash them all together. If if you involve the police, it's just going to make it a hundred times worse. I mean, these poor well, kids. Exactly, they're, they're, it's going to be a hundred times worse because you have you have all these kids here you know, unauthorized tied together on the scavenger hunt. I mean, that that's your, that's your responsibility. I don't know, sir, but I I, I don't want no part of it. I would rather let the member of the police department handle it because it was unauthorized. I and I, and I understand that, but the, the thing is too, they're all they're all deaf. Okay. That's why that's kids, that's sir. why they're leashed together. They're not going to do anything. Well, you need to come get them. I'm uh I'm, I'm in your hotel. I was talking to a lady before. Pretty much, I was just woken up from my sleep, and as you can hear, the room next to me is making a lot of noise. So I was wondering what can what can be done about this. What's your room number? Okay, she has to call us. Uh, I don't know that. Is that <laughs> no, I'm I'm in your room. Where do I find the room number? Can't, I can't. I don't know. She just called the security. <laughs> Ma'am, can you hear this? Yeah. What is I that? What I have no idea. What what what's the name of her? What's the name of who? Your wife. Oh. I call her Barbara. What's the last name? Mom? No. Who are you trying to get a hold of? Hello, who are you trying to get a hold of? My mommy. Where uh you call the Walmart? Yeah, my mommy. My mommy works there. Okay, and what's your mom's name? Um, I'm just supposed to call her mom. Well, I, honey, I, there's a lot of people in this store that's called mom. I'm a mom, and I guarantee you, I know you're not my kid. I. So do you? What's your last name? My name is Michelle. Michelle, Michelle, yeah. what's your last name, honey? My last name is Collinsworth. Collinsworth? No, Collinsworth. C O L E N S W O R T H. 
Okay, can you hang on one second, and I'll see if anybody knows. Hold on one second. Well, tell her it's an emergency. I have my foot stuck in the toilet. Okay, hold on. Thank you. I'm going to tell you something. If I can't find your mom, then I'm going to have you dial 911, okay? She, she really likes corn. She does. Honey, that's not going to help me. There's a lot of people in this store. But you have to tell mommy that Barnabas is dead. The who? <laughs> okay, really? What'd you just say, Kitty? Barnabas is dead. Who's dead? Barnabas. Barnabas? Breathe. Is that a fish? No, it's my hamster. Your hamster? Did he go in the toilet by some chance? Yeah. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I tried to get him out. But you fell in. Yeah. Okay, sweetie. Don't you worry. Hi. Um, what is your name? My name is Brandon. I'm the babysitter. Brandon? Yeah, I'm not... You're, you're is not... Is it Brandon or Brandon? Brandon. Brandon. Yeah, it is, Brandon. It, it is Brandon, but I'm gay, so it's Brandon. Okay, Brandon, where are you located? Are you... Where are you, are you right now? Are you Mrs. Michelle's mom? No, no, no. I'm trying to help you. Listen, where are you located right now? If somebody asks for our address or phone number, Mommy says we have to ask them the secret passcode. What's the secret passcode? I'd rather... I think I think priority right now is animal control because Barnabas the hamster is dead. Who cares about the hamster? But what about the kids Michelle does. in the toilet? That's all I want to know. Can you negotiate a contract during whoop whoop? Probably, but I just want to know what it means. I will be more than happy to answer your okay, question. Okay, I, I really, honestly, don't. You know, talking about whoop whoop is um, is very inappropriate. Okay. When you're on the phone with a customer service representative. Okay. Um, I am a, a representative for Direct okay. TV. Yes, you are, and, and you, you are a very people, good one. And I answer questions. Yes. And I'll be more than happy to answer. So your please questions, answer what is contract negotiation? You're... What is it? And then we can continue. Because like I just listed okay. like six reasons why I would need to know. I mean, okay. I don't know if you and wanted to throw. That, I don't know if you want to throw like a supervisor on to explain what contract negotiation is, but I just, I just—that's all I want to know. That's it. I would really like to help other direct TV customers. My dad you left. Go ahead and release the call now. How do I? Well, Cassandra. What you is? Go ahead and Cassandra. Hang up now you have a wonderful. No birthday. wait, no, Cassandra. What is whoop whoop? You have a wonderful birthday. Have you whoop whooped? Can I whoop whoop? He, she, we, whoop, whoop. Okay, I'm releasing the call. Now you have whoop, yourself a wonderful whoop. birthday and have a great night. Thanks, I will. Whoop, whoop. She's seven and she's still, she's not still like teething, but she's like going through this face thing where she eats and like rips things. And she's been like chewing on the bear. So I just wanted to make sure if there was like anything in it that could harm her. Could you do me a favor, though? Because, like, she she doesn't really listen to me. Like, if I, if you just, like, uh, she's, like, right here. If I just um, get her on the phone and if you could just, like, maybe tell her to stop, maybe she'll listen to you. Because, cause, like, okay. I'm, 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 a, I'm a guy and she really only listens to her mother. Hello? Okay. Hey, let me tell you something. I do not want you to eat the um, bear. So do you have another toy that you can play with? Because I don't think the bear is really good for you to eat. I don't so have I really another don't. toy to eat. Michelle, why'd you eat it? What is wrong with you? I ate it because it was yummy. Why, why, why can, oh my God. Why are you yelling at me? I'm not yelling at you. I'm yelling at the situation. Can I eat a stuffing? No, don't eat a stuffing. No, sh no, no, Do you think yucky. I should make her throw it up? It looks like cotton candy. So stick your fingers down your throat. I'll do it too. It'll be fine. Ready? Here we go. Just do it. One, two, three, go. See? See? Huh? Huh? What? That, you have to keep doing that. I'm not going to keep doing it. You have to do it. Okay. See? That's fine. Uh, um. There you go. And then... <laughs> Did you throw it up yet? No, it tickles. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. <laughs>
Brendan, what did you eat? What did I eat? I had pizza. Why are you all pink? I had pizza. Did you eat bubbles? <sighs> I would call her doctor, or I would call her <coughs> to see what would be the next oh. step. <coughs> are you okay? Can I get you to um, get a phone can number? You, uh, okay, but can you do one thing with me? What? Can we sing the ABCs? Cause I learned them. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V Okay. W X Y X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. What do you think of me? Brethren, you need to talk to the lady because she wants to give you something because she's going to give me snuggles. Just just make her sing the snuggle song with you. I'm almost done throwing up. The snuggle song. Okay. Okay. Snuggle me once. Snuggle. Okay. Snuggle me twice. Snuggle me. Snuggle me. It will be so nice. Snuggle, 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 huggle, huggle, huggle. We are snuggle buddies. Snuggle bunny, snuggle bunny, choo choo. Yeah, you know the snuggle song. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Do it again. Now I forgot. Okay, ready? Snuggle bunny, snuggle bunny, choo choo. Snuggle bunny, snuggle bunny, choo choo. Hello. Good evening. Hello, I saw your ad on the interweb and I was wondering if I can rent your apartment. Yes, you have to call between 11 and 4 tomorrow. There'll be somebody there. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, yes. But I have things to do. Well, I'm sorry, that's the office hours. But you answered. I'm sorry? But you answered now, here you are. This is the front desk, ma'am. I know. Hold on, let me put on my grandson. Robbie! Robbie! Yeah? Pick up the telephone. Alright, hey yo, hey, yo, what up? Hello? Hey, what's going on, man? How can I help you, sir? Uh, I'm not too sure. My grandma just kind of gave me the phone. What's, uh... What's going on? This what is you, the 4300, with, sir. This yep. is a private residence calling. She yep. wants to inquire about a uh, rental. Yep. And I asked her to call between 11 and 4. Ah, she... Okay. Like... Okay, it's then? Pa it's past that, so you mean like... No, during the morning, sir. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So so you're saying, like, tom you, she needs to call tomorrow? Correct. Oh, but she... Okay, then? Well, Graham, can Have you call him? Can you... Wait, sir. Hold on one second. Graham, can you call tomorrow? I think she has things to do tomorrow, sir. I have things well, to do. Well, I have yeah, no information is. tonight, sir, okay? Um, I was just wondering, like, I guess... I have no information, sir. I just I just had a, a baby question. Like a teeny, insy-bitsy spider question. Sir, please make it fast. I have work to be do here. Sure, that's what she said. She lives in a home, so I was just wondering, like, what your prices were. I have no idea about information, <sighs> sir. Oh, God. It's just a baby question. I have no idea, sir. But, but Watch but, your attitude! Whoa, Crab, don't yell have at him. Have a good night. But, sir, it was a baby question. I have no information about rentals, don't sir. Get all right, loud all right. With okay. Me. I, have, I have another baby question. This is probably probably a lot, lot less stressful. Are the apartments built for elderly women? It depends on which unit, sir. I haven't got any information on it. This is the front desk. Okay. Nope, no, I, I totally understand. So, so what okay, you're, then. Thank okay, you and have a good I, evening. I, just have another, I have another baby question. You're telling me that these apartments are... Now, when you say... Built They're for, rentals, sir. Yes, like an apartment. Right. Yes, that's yeah. all it is. Right. So, it's not a re retirement home? Nope, no, I, no a, I know that. No, now you're getting, you're getting to big questions. I just had the baby question. I just... I was just wondering, like... Yeah. When you say that it's built 
for elderly women? Does that mean it's like baby proof and like elderly proof? I have no, sir. It's an apartment building. Mm-hmm. Now, are they are they like, ask these questions to the rental agent? But the, to these, more but these are just, than I will. But sir, sir these are just so baby please questions. Please do not get loud with my grandson. I swear to God, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Good night, sir. Hello. Hey, um, I'm not sure if this is the right number, but I saw I saw the ad online about the companionship. Just making sure I have the right number. Yes, that's me, sweetie. Yeah. What city are you in? I'm uh I'm in Miami, actually, like literally Miami. I didn't know okay. if that was too far from you or or what. No, um, I'm in Miami. Wonderful. It's okay. Two hundred for my hour. Okay, and what's uh what's your avail- availability looking like for uh this weekend? I'll do, you know, one hour is 200, two hours 360, three hours 450. Okay, um, wonderful. Um, so, so yeah, I, you know, maybe maybe give me like, you know, maybe like a back massage. I'm not sure if, uh, if, if you're good yeah, with that. Or definitely. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, you know, clean, clean my litter box, if you know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> right. And, right. I mean, I'm not sure. And like, like I said, I've never really uh, done this before, so I'm not really sure what the, uh, what the proper, uh, you know, phone term would be. But uh, it, it, I was kind of googled it and it says uh you know if uh if you were up for you know maybe cleaning the cabinets you know wink wink right yeah i i understand you uh you, you clean the cabinet do you uh do you uh do you make cupcakes yes yeah i mean i i'm a i i my job i guess is as a as a blogger writing fan fiction would you be down for you know maybe if throwing some ideas out for some like one direction fan fiction yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, my, my name's Bonnie. I've never ordered with you guys, but what you said uh, sounded pretty good. But like I said, I, I never ordered for you guys. Can I still come pick it up at, at this uh, time? Yes. Okay, cool. So I, w- I was just wondering, uh, I, I had my friend over, and she said that she, she wanted you guys. And then I, and she, she's kind of making me do it, so I don't really know. So uh, what kind of what kind of toppings do you guys have? Anchovies, bacon. Green olives, green peppers, green olives. Italian sausage, green peppers, jalapenos, Italian. mushroom, Hollow, onion, pepperoni, pinos. pineapples. Hold sausage. on, I'm at a, I'm at jalapeno, jala, jalapenos. Jalapenos. Yep. Mushroom, mushrooms, onion, pepperoni, pineapple pe- pepperoni. sausage. What was um, what was after 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 pepperoni? Pineapple. Sausage. Um, what are you? Are you saying? Pineapple? I can't. I don't understand what you're saying. Pineapple. Oh, I, I, I'm, I, can't, I, can't, I don't understand. Can you spell that? Because I don't know what that is. I n e. I n e. Apple. A p p l e. You have on on apple. What does that taste like? Sausage. And tomato. What is the um? I, I'm going back to to the iron apple. What does that taste like? It's How? just the topping. It's it's just a choice there. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm just because I know what all the other tastes like. I don't know. With, with that, with that, would taste like I, I'm intrigued. It's I, I kind of want it, but and juicy, sir. Okay, is it is it like a is there like a crunch? Have you seen SpongeBob? Um, no. Who is what is that? SpongeBob. Never mind. Um, pineapple is a fruit. Are you talking about the uh, that that kid show with the uh, with, with the sponge yeah. with the, with the, uh, the the gay uh, the gay the gay sponge? Uh, yeah, I guess he's gay. Yeah, I, I assume he's gay. Me too. Yeah. He lives in a pineapple under the sea. That's a pineapple. So, so it's like, uh, so I guess when it's growing, the critters would live in it. Is this a prank call? No, I, I really just need to know what this is. I'm just wondering. I'm intrigued. I would like to order it, but if I don't, I don't really know what it is. Okay, it's a pineapple. It's a sweet, crunchy, juicy yellow fruit. T I N E. Oh, T T I N E, like teen. A P P. I did T as in as in uh, toothpick. I N E A P L. And it says. Just a moment, uh, sir. Just says, a moment. Did you mean? Did you mean thimble? Yeah, I don't. I don't really know much about building, but my kid wants me to build her a tree house. So how would I go about doing that? Uh, a tree house? Yeah. Um. Well, it's not really my kid, it's my neighbor's kid, but we share a yard. So I want it to be nice and uh-huh. give the kid a tree house, but I've never built anything before. I want from I want the people and the kids of this town to know that they can go in the tree house and it won't fall apart. 
I've never built anything before. I mean, it's a preference as to how you want to put together. So, I, I mean, if you've never put anything together like this before, then your best bet would probably be to have hire somebody and have somebody build it for you. You you've done it before. So you're saying to pay someone money to do something I could do? <laughs> no. I want to do it myself. Thank you. I don't. It depends on how big you're going to make this treehouse, and the I kind of I want people to look at it. it. I want people to look at it and go, "Oh my freaking god, it's a treehouse!" Like I don't want there to be any mistakes. I don't want people to be like, "Is that a tree, or is it a house?" I want them to go, "That's a fucking treehouse." Okay, but still, like I said, I can't tell you how many you're going to need. Okay, that's going to be about $400 because they're $48.99 a piece. Okay. Now, um, what else do you think I would need? Do you guys sell windows? Yep, but putting tree house, uh, windows in a treehouse would not be good because if a kid falls and puts their arm through it, then you're liable for it. I'm building the treehouse, not you! I want one window in the treehouse. You know, sir, I, I, if you're going to sit here and yell at me over the phone... You're I telling me... Talk, you, you, know, you told me, floor. sir. You told me that you couldn't tell me specs unless you had plans. And now you're telling me not to put windows exactly. in my treehouse. That's house. what I'm telling you. If you, I know, and I'm just telling you that if somebody fell, if you put a window in there and put their arm through it and hurt themselves, then you would be liable for it. Why the hell would a kid do that? They're not stupid. It's a treehouse. My my daughter uh, Michelle went with her mother uh, this morning. Like they left yesterday for a full thing. I'm in Florida, but um, they spent like the whole day at Disney, and now now I have her for the weekend. And she's been like very very upset. I guess she went on like the haunted mansion ride or something, and she's like refusing to go to sleep or like go in her room or do anything because she's like really like freaking oh, out. Oh no! Yeah, I'm she sorry to hear that. she thinks like the ghost that was sitting on the chair like followed her home or something. Um, that's oh, what she, no. That's what she kept saying. I, I don't know if that's, like, part of the ride or, like, if she's imagining or, or, or what. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Michelle, how you doing? Um, I'm okay. Aw, uh, how was the ride? It was scary. It was scary? Yeah. Oh, what scared you about it? You tried to eat me. You tried to eat you? You tried to eat me! Oh, oh no. You should have been there. Oh my gosh! I know. I and know. Oh man! Grimmy, well, we got him right here. So we got strong. him right here, and he, he's not gonna bother you at all. I swear. But Pinky you, promise. Are you Are you sure? Pinky promise. Do you Pinky promise at all? Yeah, I love the Pinky promise. I love the Pinky promise too. Uh, how about me and you, Pinky promise? Well, how are we gonna touch pinkies? Uh, over the phone. Over the phone. Yeah. Can you feel my pinky? Yeah, but I got him right here, so if he's not going to bother you, sure, sure, I'll, tr I'll definitely try. So, like, if you talk in your normal voice and you're like, oh, like, he, like, oh, so do you like Michelle? Then you're like, yeah, like, you know, some something like that. She's, she's very gullible. Michelle, pick up the phone again. Sure. sure. Hello? Hey, Michelle, I managed, I managed to find him right here, and he's sitting right next to him. Uh, would you like to talk to him? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. All right, all right, hold on. Give me one second, all right? Okay. Hello, is this Michelle? <laughs> yes. Hello, Michelle. What's this? Oh. How did you enjoy the ride? Who is, who is this? Jesus? Did you enjoy the haunted mansion? Who, who are you? Are you Grimmy Grimmy Ghosts? That is my name, yes. Hi. Are you going to eat How are you doing me? today? I'm really scared, Grimmy Grimmy Ghosts. I am really sorry I scared you. But, um, I'm a recruiter for Jeopardy, and we're doing kind of a callback process, and just my job for the last six hours today, calling about 200 people on this list. So I apologize for the late call, but your name is towards the bottom of the list. Which quote-unquote character from the hit MTV show Jersey Shore recently gave birth to a baby? Me. 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 
Uh, that, that was that was that was kind of a tie. Um, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Candace first. Who is the situation? No, that that is that is incorrect. <laughs> um, Cur- going- Curtis, you have a chance to steal. Who is Snooky? Correct, correct. So now it is now it is three. Curtis one. Candace. In the hit series game Pokemon, what level does Magikarp learn tackle? Me. Candace again. Level fifteen. That is correct. You have tied it up. It is now three Curtis, three Candace. On the sit not sitcom soap opera Days of Our Lives has died. 13 times. Me! Candace. Stefano DeMera. You have, you have to answer in the form of a question, oh, but... Who is Stefano DeMera? That, that is correct. It is three Curtis, four Candace. Okay. Now, this is, this is a history-related question for you history buffs. During the Battle of Gettysburg in the American Civil War, how many casualties did the Confederacy have? Me. Candace. Twenty eight oh, what is twenty eight thousand sixty-three? That is that is a little little off, but I I I guess so. We will we will give you that one. <laughs> so now it is uh it is three Curtis, six to Candace. What hit video game by makers Nintendo features a red and green plumber as the main character? Me. Curtis. Mario Brothers? Correct. That is correct. So now it is four, two, four Curtis, six Candis, with two questions remaining. What is the only fruit or vegetable that is considered both a fruit and vegetable? So you're going to have 30 seconds to come up with your answer. Okay. Now, now, now. Curtis, just because you've been you've been coming back from this, I would say what what is your answer first? Uh, tomato. What is tomato? I, I'm I'm sorry that that is that is incorrect. So now we move over to Candace. Now, Candace, what is what is your answer? Um, what is ham? And and that is correct. Congratulations, Candace. Is it is six Curtis, seven to seven Candace. That was that was great. So now, um, both of you can congratulate each other. That was that was that was great a job, job well done. <laughs> Thank you, Candace. Well, I, I'm sorry. What was the answer? The, the the correct answer is what is ham? Ham. H A M. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hi, Reggie. My my name is Bonnie. I guess uh. I guess the lady wasn't sure what to do, but uh, I, I was saying how I got a, a bunny for, for my daughter, and it's it's really wet, and my, my friend said that you guys know like a lot about animals and taking care of it and stuff, so I didn't know like what you guys would suggest to do to kind of like dry it so I don't hurt it. I mean, but you, you, you're talking about an animal with fur. I mean, if you catch fire, I mean, I, I don't recommend you putting it in no, well, fire. Daddy has I, don't, fur. I don't recommend that. Yeah, I mean, well, well she, 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 she's trying to be funny. She's saying I have fur, but she, she's talking about my chest. There's this hair on it, but... And that, your back. Yeah, and my, your that's, that's kind of relevant. Michelle, well, I'm going to... How about did it get wet? How did the bunny get wet? She, uh, Michelle, you tell the story. It's actually pretty funny when she tells it, so laugh. So, so this, this one time, I was outside, and I was rolling around in the dirt, and I got dirty. There's more, there's more. And then... And then I had to take a bath because Daddy got really mad because then I ran inside and I rolled all over the new carpet. <laughs> and then Daddy said, get in the bathtub. So I said, okay. And then I went in the bathtub and I took Squiggles with me because he's my best friend. Wasn't that hilarious? <laughs> yeah, see, he thinks it's funny. See, see, that's what happened. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that'll that be my, I mean, sir, that, that's, I'm, do you have a blanket, a small blanket or anything that you use in? Um... Uh, the the only the only blanket I have is it's what we call the Dad. family blanket. Dad. Yeah. What about that cloth that mom wears on like on like special nights like on your birthday? Uh no. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to that. She's don't don't even don't even mind her. Now now what about what it's the bunny is not gonna shed on the blanket? Dad, you can't. 
he may once. shed on the blanket. I mean, it's, no, no, it's, I said shed. I said shed, not shit, Swede. I said oh. it, we're saying shed. S H E D, like oh. shed. Yeah, this because the the only blanket in the house is like a big blanket. We call it a family blanket, and we 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 use that blanket when we when we conceive Michelle. So I'd rather not have a bunny rolling around in it. It's kind of for like family only. You know what I mean? Dad. Dad. Yeah. Okay, so what does it mean to in conceive? that case, I'm I'm kind of lost, and I don't I don't know what else to. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't, Michelle, I have to explain how, uh, how you were created. He, I, I guess I, I confused him. The blanket, we call it the family blanket because I, I actually was using it the night that we, me and my wife, we conceived Michelle. So I wouldn't feel comfortable with the bunny rabbit on it because I didn't conceive it. You know what I mean? It's like a right, family, I, family I, blanket. I understand that. When I say I'm lost, is meaning that I have no other suggestions. Oh, oh you're still lost. Okay, well, there's this what blanket. Does it's me? What? No, sir, I'm not. I'm not lost about the blanket. I understand that you don't want to use. The... <laughs> Dad, what gotcha. conceive mean? Conceive means make. That part. It's just, I'm lost, I created I you like. What else? I don't have. I have no more suggestions because I don't recommend you putting them in the oven or putting them over a fire. The only recommendations I have are to wrap them up in a towel to dry them off. And since you don't have a towel, I would suggest in the blanket, and then you don't have a blanket. Well, well, we have a blanket. I just don't want to use the blanket because that was the blanket we used when we conceived Michelle. Which is understandable. Yeah. So that, I mean, there's no other... I, mean, I got a paper towels or anything. It's going to consume a lot, but you may I got, use a lot of paper yeah. towels. I got um Mich yeah. Michelle Covey. Yeah, so I got a uh I found in my drawer when I was doing spring cleaning. I found about uh five un unopened condoms. Do you think we I could put the bunny in that to dry it off? I'm sorry. Do you think I could put the bunny in like in an unused condom to dry it off because because the moisture would be sucked out of the bunny? Okay. So to start off with, so I can get a good idea of what it is you may need, I know you said there had been some, some problems going on recently. What's been going on? Well, uh, really recently I've been having, you know, I, I've been going out a lot, which is, which is new for me because I'm usually very, very antisocial, but I'm, I'm moved and I, and I met these really cool people and they're always, you know, having parties and such. So, you know, I, I've been, you know, coming home at, you know, wee wee o'clock in the morning and, uh, you know, then there have been other times when I don't even come home at all. And uh, there have been incidents where maybe I've been in this new house for about a month, and I've had about six break-ins so far. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and, and, and most of them, you know, I, maybe you can, you know, maybe help me with this and discuss and see if that would be a problem. A lot of times, it's because I get, like, really incoherently intoxicated, and I don't have my keys on me, and I try and break into my own house. And then I wake up and forget it happened. So I figured if there's a security system, it will prevent me from doing that. Well, it won't necessarily prevent you from doing it, but if you were to do it and you didn't remember your security code, the police would come to your house. Yeah. Um, see, see, that's that's kind of like the downside to it, I guess. But uh, see, there, there was one time where I didn't even go home and my house got broken into. So I'm thinking that it wasn't me. Mm hmm. So I got gotcha. you. I mean, nothing was ever taken. I mean, the, the one guy who did it, I, I laid in my bed. But. I don't think it was me because I, wo I woke up at Jess's house. So, uh -huh. and that's where it happened. But, you know, the five other times I broke into my own house, I was getting pretty pretty damn creative. So I figured if I had a little system, that would stop me. Are you also looking to have uh, other features outside of security, like uh, being able to control your thermostat? Well, I mean, that, 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 that that's a good question. Um, I think in the point where I'm, you know, completely you know annihilated and i can't even you know walk straight i don't think i'd be worried about my thermostat if uh you know if, if i can't break into my house which or you know if, if you know an alarm's going off which is good i don't think i don't think my primary goal would be to change the thermostat so i probably would not want that okay yeah. All right. I, I did. I did find though. I did find though there was like a. Exactly um, what you're saying. Yeah. And now my question Let me is. Just repeat this back to you. Okay. So basically, the problem is you're getting so intoxicated that you're breaking into your own house over and over and over again, and you need to something to stop yourself from doing that. Yes. Okay. So, and you've come in through the roof before. Yeah. There was, um, like I said, I removed the shingles and then I went through the insulation. Yeah, I actually have, I actually have a chimney, but you can't actually get down into it. But I believe I did try. 
you've tried to come in through your chimney? Yeah, because, I mean, there's that whole thing where when you look at it from inside the house, it's big. But from the top, there's just those little pops. I actually tried. I took one of the pops out. And I had one other pop left oh, wow. with the... Yeah, so that, that's why I was saying I need a security system to kind of keep me out from doing that because I'm getting pretty freaking creative. And uh, there, was, there was one incident, um, which I guess the cameras would help too. I guess I ordered, I think it was either Domino's Pizza or something. And uh, when, when I woke up, there was, I guess, I yelled at the pizza man and locked him in my bathroom. So that 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 person was stuck in there for the night. And I, I talked to the manager. The manager was actually a good friend of mine from high school. So there was no, you know, everybody just kind of forgot about it. And I was told I can't order from them again. But I figured if there's the cameras and such, that could, that could help, I guess. Wow. So you managed to get a pizza man locked in your bathroom <laughs> overnight? Yeah, he, he claims he could be lying. He claims I hit him over the back of the head with a chair. Oh, wow. And and I didn't believe him until I sat down with a few of my friends at my house and there was a chair missing. So it all kind of oh, made my sense. Oh, goodness. 